Hi everyone, let's solve for x. So from our solution, we have 3x, 3 raised to the power x, multiplied by 4 raised to the power x, raised to the power 2, equals to 12. So, express all constants with prime braces. So, considering the, this constant, we have... Um, 12 to be equals to 3 multiplied by 4 and that can be written as 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 if we consider this as well so 4 can also be written as 2 raised to power 2 so from here we apply this back into our expression so we have 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 then raised to the power x squared which is equals to 3 which can be raised to the power 1 then multiply by 2 raised to the power 2 so we can then divide to divide all through this expression with 3x um, with 3 raised to the power 1 and this expression as well 2 raised to the power 2x raised to the power 2 so with that we have that to be divide by 3 raised to the power 1 multiply by 2 raised to the power 2 x raised to the power 2 then at the right hand side we have 3 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 x raised to the power 2 so all these we cancel each other why this we also go with each other so we're now left with 3 x over 3 raised to power 1 3 raised to power x over 3 raised to power 1 equals to 2 raised to power 2 over 2 raised to power x 2 raised to power 2x raised to power 2 so from our rule of indices if we have 1 over a it can be written as a raised to the power minus 1 okay so if we apply this rule this moves up and negatives come between the uh, power and the base so we now have 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 3 raised to the power minus 1 so equals to 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power minus 2 x raised to power 2 so if we combine this together we have 3 x raised to power x 3 x 3 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 2 raised to the power 2 minus 2x squared okay then from here we can then take the log of both sides of the expression so we have log so this time we are taking the log to log base 2 so we have log base 2 then 3x 3 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log base 2 2 raised to the power 2 minus x minus 2x raised to the power 2 okay then we can now write that as log base 2 3 then x minus 1 
raised to the power x minus 1 log base 2 2 into bracket raised to the power 2 minus 2x two raised to the power 2 okay so now we can use that identity identity log reading identity if we have log of base a b power m we can have it as m log base a b let's apply this to both sides so we have this to be x minus 1 log base 2 3 equals to 2 minus 2x raised to the power 2 then log base 2 2 but log base a a can be given as 1 this is an identity which we can apply to this side so I will now have that to be x minus 1 log base 2 3 equals to 2 minus 2x raised to the power 2 then multiply by 1 so this becomes 1 okay now from here what we now have is that x minus 1 into bracket log base 2 3 so we can move the expression of the right hand side to the left hand side so we now have minus into bracket 2 minus 2x raised to the power 2 all will now be equals to 0 so from here we can open the bracket we have x minus 1 log base 2 3 then minus 2 plus 2 x squared all equals to 0 so we can now write this as x minus 1 log base 2 3 plus 2 x squared minus 2 all equals to 0 so from here we can also have that x minus 1 log base 2 3 plus 1 we factor out 2 we have 2 into bracket x squared minus 1 equals to 0 so this term over here this expression give us difference of 2 square so we now have x minus 1 log base 2 3 plus 2 x plus 1 x minus 1 all equals to 0 so we can see from this side we have x minus 1 and from this side we have x minus 1 so we factor that out x minus 1 into bracket log base 2 3 plus 2 x plus 1 all equals to 0 okay now from here we now have our we have our value of x equated to 0 for the first case is 1 so x will be x will be x minus 1 be equals to 0 then x equals to 1 so that will be x1 so second case so we have the log of base 2 3 plus 2 into bracket x plus 1 all equals to 0 so here we can um we can move the log first to the right hand side so we have 2x 2 into bracket x plus 1 equals to minus 
log of base 2, 3. So we can divide both sides by 2. So we have divide by 2, divide by 2. This cancel this. We have x plus 1 equals to minus log base 2, 3 over 2. So then we can also move this 1 to the right hand side. We now have x equals to minus log base 2, 3, then minus 1, this divided by 2. So, and this can finally be written as, if we factor that out, we have minus into brackets log base 2, 3 over 2, then plus 1. And this will be the second value of x, which is x2. Okay?